Hello everyone, this is your big boy Coach Will from Kingdom Body Bootcamp. Let's see what we're going to invite today, 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 today. Welcome to the Kingdom Zone from Kingdom Body Bootcamp. I want to talk to you today about investing in yourself. Invest in your future, invest in yourself. Because this topic came in this week because I was talking to a gentleman this week on my lift and he was talking to me about all oh, that he needed to work because his finances were not that good and he was tired already of being home. He was he's been home for a whole year. So when I went and picked him up and this is why he came up why this is this is coming up because when I went to pick him up at Walmart he had a huge 65 inch TV and he had a TV stand and everything and I asked him wow that TV is huge that TV is big right so I asked him wow why a big TV he says because I need it but he was telling me about that he wanted to grow his finances that he wanted to grow uh, personally that he wanted to grow as a person right and I asked him, what kind of investments have you done? He was like, I haven't done any investment. I just moved to the new apartment. I just moved in. And I needed to uh, buy this TV. And I'm thinking to myself, and not, and I'm not telling him. Right? I'm thinking to myself, well, he's talking about he needs to grow his finances. He's talking about he needs to grow uh, financially. But he's buying a TV. What is the TV going to help him grow financially? Is he going to use it to play video games, which that's not going to help him financially? Is he going to do it to watch uh, video game, uh, games or TV, which is not going to help him anything financially? So instead of he wasting 500 and something dollars on the TV that he wasted it, he could have got it and made an investment and double his money. But this is where I'm coming at. This is where I'm coming at. And this is for, for everyone. It's sometimes people buy things they don't need and, they, and then they worry about their finances. And instead of investing in themselves financially, they go and invest in material things that you don't need. Because, all right, let's say the TV, he bought the TV, that's fine. But if he's going to use it to do presentations about a business, is he going to use it to uh, be able to work and use it as a, as a screen for his, nav or his computer? That's things that are going to help him, and it's going to be good, right? Is he going to use it to put... Uh, motivational videos on what is he going to use it for but I'm guessing the way he is I'm guessing that he's only going to use it to watch games to play video games for his kids instead of him instead of him using it financially using his money financially wise as investing in himself before he goes and invests in his family he should be investing that money for himself to make him more money to be able to invest it on his kids in the future right show them how to invest on the future but no people right now they get this stimulus check and they're like okay i'm gonna go and buy this they get their not only some people are just being staying home because they're getting their uh the check from the government and that was gonna help them Oh, I'm going to go get money from the government because it's free money. When have you noticed that the government gives you money for free? The money you're getting is money you worked. The unemployment money is money that you worked that they've been taking out from you for your retirement. So that unemployment money, when your retirement comes, you're going to have zero money. You're going to have nothing because you've been wasting it in things that you don't need oh i'm gonna use it for this i'm gonna use it for that and then your retirement money is not even there because you're not gonna have any retirement money left because you used it all because you didn't you didn't want to work or because you were lazy and didn't want to spend it in something that was going to make you more money investing in yourself now you're like okay 
Now, when you see you, when you see now, they instead of sending six hundred dollars, they're sending you three hundred dollars. Now it's when you're worried and you tell yourself, "Okay, I should have done it. I should have invested. I should have invested in myself before I wasted the money in other things." The bills that you pay with that money is not going to return you back income. It's not going to return you back residual income, right? So. The bills are still gonna pile there, but you should invest it in your money. You should invest your money in something that was going to help you financially to be stable financially, right? But no, you had to say, "Oh, I'm, I got bills to pay, so let me go get my retirement money and pay my bills, pay this because I'm more worried about paying this, paying that." And when are you gonna learn to pay yourself? When are you gonna learn that you gotta pay yourself first? So you could be able to pay the bills. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that learn how to play with the money so you can make you more money so you can pay the bills that you need to pay. Because the government likes for you to be in debt. They're gonna give you more money when you're in debt. You don't matter, but you still gotta think about yourself. Okay. Oh, uh, I've been I've been out of work for one year, but uh, as soon as the year's over, am I gonna go back to work? I'm already tired. Uh, yeah, there's jobs out there, but it's not the one that I'm looking for. Uh, that's not my type of job. Uh, that's not for me. Blah, blah, blah. You just keep saying yourself, go get yourself a part-time job. Go get yourself something that is going to help you generate money. Don't be lazy. And then have some money and invest it. Make an investment. You don't have to like the job. What you like to do is have a job for a certain amount of time. Until you know that you're making enough money in your investments to go and, and, and do that full time. Invest in your business. Invest in a business. Invest in a business that is going to generate you money, residual income month by month. But if you're there sitting down, oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm already at work and I got two days off. Let me take off these two days and relax and watch some TV. That's not going to make you money. That's making you lazy. Learn that if you continue being lazy and you continue being the way you are, you're never going to make it in life. If you don't invest time and dedication to yourself on making more income, by the time you're 70, 80 years old, you ain't going to have no money in your pockets. You're going to have no money for yourself. If you're not making $8,000 to maybe $13,000 a month, then where where are you? Because with two thousand, four thousand dollars a month, it's not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. So be honest with yourself when it comes to understanding what is it that you really want. What is it that you are really looking for? Financially, stability, right? You want to have your. You want to be able to keep your family stable, right? Have the stability on your money. But if you're gonna be playing around and and oh I'm I'm too tired, I'm not gonna work, that job is too hard, or that's not the type of job that I was looking for, then bull crap. Then do don't do anything and continue being the same person with no income. Stop being stop being lazy and do something up by yourself. Because you cannot continue being the same way that you are all the time. Do not be lazy. Become a better self, a better person of yourself. Become a better you. Don't be too lazy to to do stuff. Do more, do better things. Become a better person. Become a better you. But do not be lazy. You're 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 standing in a you're standing in a place where you can make more money and you can make more progress and you're still thinking about should I do it? Another thing that people do also they invest money in things they don't they don't even study about or something. Oh, because my friend invested in this, I'm gonna invest in that. Invest in something that you that you know about and that you enjoy doing and it's gonna make you residual income because if you do something that you enjoy and you invest in something you enjoy, then you're gonna be making. More, more money because you're going to be more happy investing more and more and more on it so guys don't take this the wrong way 
He said there are people, there's idiots out there that think that the money's gonna come on a tree and they're gonna sit down and watch the game. Uh, I'll work out tomorrow. I'll do this. It's, just, it's the same thing when you're gonna go work out. Oh, you'll work out for a month. So it's like this, you'll work out for a month, right? And then when when you're you're there for a month, you say, ah, I'm not gonna work out next week. I'll work out next month. I'll start next week. And you never do it. You're always putting yourself in a situation where you think that you know best. If you don't put your financial stability where you're supposed to put it, then where are you going to be in a couple of months, years from now, right? So try and get something that is going to make you residual income and stop lacking on, on buying things that you don't need. Because and, and stop, using the, and stop using government's money, which belongs to you, to where your 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 retirement money stop wasting money that you should be saving and money that sh you shouldn't be touching oh i'm gonna get the employment money leave that employment money alone go grab yourself a job and start investing the money that you make from your job do not be lazy get off the the couch get off from your behind and start doing things that you're supposed to be doing all right don't waste your time sitting down and buying things that you don't need so guys before I go this is the this is what I want to tell you if you want to invest find something that you enjoy doing something that is going to give you residual income and invest your money because you'll never know when you're gonna get sick and you need residual income coming into you. All right, guys? So have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. I will see you guys here on Life Oaks on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the bootcamp classes. I'll see you Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the podcast. Show up and let's get things rolling. Every week I'll be telling you different topics that we're gonna be talking about so that, that it can help you grow more and more. Okay guys, take care and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your, of your Wednesday.